Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions, and in this video, I'd like to show you around the Easy Export Wizard, show you how you can use the Export HTML5 with N5 dialog to customize your exported content, and show you how to efficiently export with those customized settings. The simplest way to export your content with N5 is to use the Easy Export Wizard. When a document is ready to export, go to N5 Easy Export Wizard. The first screen in the dialog presents options for the types of HTML5 documents to export. There are some magazine options that include a flipbook, a modern digital document, and a long form ebook. There are mobile options that include an app and a web app. There are web options that include a one page site, a landing page, and a microsite. And there is an other category for scrolling docs, banner ads, and presentations. Let's say I wanted to make a flipbook. I'd click on Flipbook, then the next button appears. When I click it, a couple of options for text appear, editable or pixel perfect. Editable text converts text to selectable HTML text, and pixel perfect converts text to images. All of the options on these two screens are like presets. They are collections of various settings, and they can be modified however you like using the Export HTML5 within 5 Dialog. Note that some of the options may be grayed out or limited if you're testing in 5 in demo mode. To customize your export settings from the Easy Export Wizard, or if you'd just like to see what settings make up the document types, click the Advanced button. This button will take you to the Export HTML5 with N5 dialog. It's the same dialog you would see if you went directly to N5 Export HTML5 with N5, but it will display the settings that make up whatever you selected in the Easy Export Wizard. Let's see what settings are now available to us here. Notice on the left there are multiple sections. Basic, Backgrounds, SEO and Meta, Analytics and Sharing, Viewer Display, Resources, Advanced, and Info. Basic includes the basic settings. The title is populated based on the name of the InDesign document. The Destination folder is where your generated HTML5 output folder will be saved. It's best to make sure that you're exporting to your local hard drive and not over a network or to cloud storage such as OneDrive or Google Drive. The export range allows you to select all or a portion of your document for exporting. Using a custom export range can help when you're testing your output for a long document. The page format determines how your pages appear and transition. Navigation includes options for moving forward and back through your pages and how certain links will open. There are four text rendering options that affect how your text will appear. Output addresses how your content will be used. And you can set your exports to clear the previously exported files from your InDesign layout and display, or not display, the footer that contains the N5 link. The background section includes options for background color, a background image and how it would be displayed, page color, and a page image and how it would be displayed. SEO and Meta allows you to add a description and keywords that apply to the entire exported document. You can have N5 automatically generate these keywords for you. You can also add an author, an Amazon Web App verification key, and a version number if you're submitting your content to the Amazon App Store. The book URL is populated automatically for use with the Baker framework. The Analytics and Sharing section is where you would add a Google Analytics tracking ID and select which features you'd like to track. Here you can determine whether or not one or more buttons for social media sites appear in a widget that users can click to share your content. You can add an image that would be shared when any of those buttons for those sites are clicked. You can set the placement of those buttons and you can set a custom URL for what would be shared when any of those buttons are clicked. The Viewer Display section contains all the options for the bar that can be added to the bottom of your content. Under Loading in Progress, you can show a loading bar, customize the loading text, and add a page progress bar. The Resources section is where you can add CSS or JavaScript to further customize the appearance and or the functionality of your exported content. The Advanced section lets you add an icon that appears on browser tabs and is the icon that's added to a device's home screen when you output a web app. Here is where you would set image quality and image optimization. You can set proportional scaling with the mobile device viewport zoom and desktop scaling. 
select whether or not audio controls are shown, and set application cache for offline viewing. Under Advanced Rendering, you'll find options for overset text, how rectangles are rendered, if groups are rendered as images, lazy loading, which loads your content per page instead of all at once when your site first loads, spanning content across spreads, and including hidden layers. As you can see, there are quite a few options you can set when you export. The good news is that when you use the Export HTML5 with N5 Dialog, those settings are saved when you save your document. But what do you do if you want to use the same export settings from one document on another document? You can make a preset. At the bottom of the HTML5 with N5 Dialog is the Presets button. When you click it, it brings up the N5 Export Presets Dialog that includes any saved presets, options to create a new preset from your current settings, select a preset from the list and apply those settings to your output, delete a preset that you select, import and or export presets, and click when you're done. While we're looking at the bottom of the Export HTML5 within 5 dialog, notice the other options. If you click Help, the N5 Help documentation will open. In it, you'll find all kinds of information about N5, including the Export dialog. The Cancel button will cancel the export before it starts. Be aware, though, that once you click the OK button to export, you won't be able to cancel. I hope that seeing the relationship between the Easy Export Wizard and the Export HTML5 with N5 Dialog furthers your understanding of how to export quickly, how to customize your exports, and how to efficiently export with your customized export settings. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.